Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And uh, as you can see, in May in the UK, it's still fairly cloudy and pretty blooming cold as well at the moment with a nice northerly wind. But anyway, enough about the weather forecast and let's get on with today's ranty rider subject. It's not about motorbikes. I use YouTube a lot. I like looking at science videos and engineering videos and uh, other bits and pieces that interest me. But one thing that keeps popping up every time I look at these subjects is flat earthers versus round earthers. And I've devised an experiment to see which one of them is right. Now, until the flat earthers or round earthers get this sorted out I suggest that you both camps stop posting stop it you're getting in my feed it's very 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 annoying so let's have a quick look at what I've thought up for an experiment to prove once and for all which one is right oh no it's the ranty rider Run! now I've got so annoyed with these videos continually appearing in my feed entertaining as both sides are that I've wiped my whiteboard in the garage just to show the experiment I've designed. So here we start off with a round earth, uh, more properly described as an oblate spheroid, and uh, underneath it, with my dodgy round earth drawings, we're going to have a dodgy flat earth drawing. Now the experiment proceeds thus. We're going to have two points on each of these earths very, very close together, as shown here. We're going to put some sticks or tripods on the ground and on the top of them we're going to put a spirit level so we can actually get them perfectly level with the ground beneath them. Then we're going to shine a laser from one point to the other. I'm showing it in red here, a green laser will probably be better, 30 milliwatt ones are quite suitable enough for the uh, experiment that we have in hand. Now after we've aligned these lasers we're going to move the uh, uh, points apart where we're going to actually be doing the study and uh, as you can see I've slipped here because I'm trying to lean over a bike while I'm drawing this because uh, I don't want to move my bikes at the garage in the evening and I'm very irate with these subjects continually appearing so I've leant over the bike. Here we have an alternate two points they've moved further away on the round earth in theory they're disappearing around the curve of the earth and on the flat earth they're still flat so again we put the spirit levels on top and shine the laser now if the flat earth is correct the eight inches per mile square would mean that the laser light would drop down like this towards the surface of the earth and if the round earth is correct the lasers will disappear in an upwards rather than downwards trajectory because they are moving round on, <laughs> pun intended, on a surface that's curved. So anything that's calibrated to the local ground level will show stuff going in an upwards direction. Flat earthers and round earthers, will you please stop posting your videos and your continual arguments until you've performed this experiment and then one or other of you will have to admit you're correct. The other ones will have to admit failure. Perform the experiment, preferably with a couple of you from each camp and then the ones that are wrong admit they're wrong, get off YouTube, delete all your videos and please stop clogging up my feed. Anyway, that's it from me. Time to clean the bike after today's ride through what appears to be every sort of mud available and possibly some cattle byproducts as well. My mate Carlo I ride with, his bike is always immaculate. I think he goes in my slipstream so he doesn't get covered in crap like I do. Anyway, take care for now. Hopefully see you out on the road. Goodbye.